Make sure that you like extreme weather, you like darkness in winter, you like 24 hour sunlight in summer, because if you don't really like any of those things, you're not gonna be too happy here. This is Relocated, where we tour the living situations of people who choose to live off the beaten path. My name is Aisley Royce, or you can pronounce Isley. I live in a small fishing village in the West Yards of Iceland called Isafjöra. Isafjöra is one of the most remote places in Iceland here in the West Yards, and there's a population of about 2,500. And here I work as a photographer. I relocated to Iceland in the year 2018 about. I always knew that I was gonna move to Iceland ever since I was a little kid. Flying back and forth from Germany to the States, we'd fly over Iceland and Greenland. And I just remember being so fascinated and intrigued with the landscape and how beautiful it was. I thought to myself, one day I'm gonna move here. Prior to living in Iceland, I was living in Los Angeles for a few years. And there I was working uh, in the TV and film industry. I got to a point that I wasn't very fulfilled in my career and very happy in Los Angeles. And I dropped everything and left. Something unique about my living arrangement is that I live in a fjord that was cut out by a glacier and we have these giant mountains that surround us. It's quite beautiful to wake up to in the morning. So I live in a one bedroom flat and I'm alone there. For me, the least glamorous side of my living arrangement, I think, is my kitchen because I like to cook. And my kitchen is really small and uh, I really don't have much space. And this, the countertop is so low and so I'm always like very hunched over and it always hurts my back to cook. And it just isn't fun for me. But even having a, a kitchen that's not so exciting is not really a downfall when you have so much beautifulness around you. We are very isolated, so it's not a place for everybody. For example, in the wintertime, the roads can be closed for days when there's a big storms. Uh, shipments can be late. It just depends. <laughs> I think that something else that's very unique is that it's very safe here. And I don't lock my doors. I don't need to lock my car door. I don't need to lock my house door. And I don't feel in any danger whatsoever. Yeah, I think the only danger here in the West Yard is maybe avalanches or rock slides. <laughs> And I think something else that's very unique that you don't find in a lot of places is that everyone here is always willing to help you. And it's very hard to find that, I think, in other places. My daily routine is never the same. <laughs> it's always completely different. I go out and do my photo shoots, or if I have uh, some people to guide around, I go out and do that. The trips are for, you know, nature enthusiasts, photography enthusiasts, hiking enthusiasts. Sometimes you can find me on a ship or a boat, going through the Arctic Ocean or to certain fjords, or I can be flying on an airplane. It's really a new adventure every day. Living here is not so expensive when it comes to certain things, but there are other aspects that are expensive. So for instance, I live on the edge of town and my rent doesn't cost so much as if I were to live downtown or six hours away in Reykjavik. So I spend a lot of money mostly on food or fuel for my car. Or if I want to buy something, I have to have it shipped or imported. So there are like high costs with that. So I can't just get anything that I want right away. And so that can be expensive in a way. I think one of the revelations that I've had since living here is that I don't think I can ever go back to living in a major big city because I enjoy my silence and I enjoy the nature and not so many people around me and people consuming and consuming. To be more mindful of my spending, more mindful of my waste, that is a revelation that I've had. And just be more uh, considerate of the environment. What can I do to minimize my footprints here on the earth? The only, I think, downside for me is that my family's in Germany and then my other family's in the US. So it's kind of hard to see them, you know, when I want to see them. 
It's really hard to say how long I plan on staying in this living arrangement because I would like to have my own cabin. Right now I'm renting and I also can see myself married and I would at least like one kid. One piece of advice that I would give to someone who is looking to move somewhere remote or try something new is just be passionate and excited about what you want to do. Make sure that it's something that you really love and just go for it. I hope you enjoyed the tour and a little rundown of my life here in East Peter. Make sure to check out all the rest of the videos on Bustle and subscribe to them. Come to East Peter sometime. <laughs>